when it comes to using a VND filter, I think we all are looking for three specific things. That's ease of use, convenience, and quality. A lot of times we don't get all three. If you're lucky, you might get two, but never all three. For example, you might find a VND that's really easy to use and even more convenient, but the quality's off. What do I mean by quality? Well, maybe the color cast is a lot colder than you expected it to be. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's a lot warmer than you expected it to be. For some of us, that's not a big deal, but the inconvenience of having to go back after recording, go into post, fix your color, it just ain't worth it, right? Well, for some of us. Then there's quality, where you may say, okay, I finally found an indie filter that has great neutral colors, everything looks good, but as soon as you turn the filter dial, you discover the worst vignetting you've ever seen on a filter. And we just can't have that in our footage. So I guess what I'm trying to say is we always tend to settle instead of getting all three of those things, right? I definitely feel like someone's actually got it right for once. Someone has made a filter that is super convenient, easy to use, and has really great quality. Today we are going to take a look at Polar Pro's new variable ND filters, the Helix Maglock Variable ND Filter. I've had these filters for about two weeks now. Yeah, I would give or take two weeks and I've absolutely enjoyed them. So before we get started, of course, this video is not sponsored by Polar Pro. This is me buying my own stuff. So let's just get that out of the way. These VNDs are magnetized. This isn't anything new with VNDs. If you're familiar with Freewell, then you may know that they too have magnetic filters. I think Polar Pro took it a step further. Instead of only magnetizing their VNDs, they also lock. Hence the name Mag Lock. Magnet Lock. I'm gonna be totally honest, I didn't really understand the name until I was fooling around with this. So using this filter, you're going to need a base plate. These base plates are metal and are magnetized as well. So this is essentially the system. Without this, dang, without this, nothing's happening. So what you're gonna do is simply screw the base plate onto your camera lens. I say again, make sure you got the right thread size because if you don't have the correct thread size, well then, you're out of luck. All you're simply gonna do is screw it on. The base plate does not get in the view of the lens, which is another good thing. So you can leave these on if you want to. I particularly don't, but it's an option. When you got your base plate on, what you wanna do next is line the filter up with this little gold bar that you'll see on the base plate. This is kind of like your visual uh, reference point so to speak and all you're gonna do is allow the magnet to slap on and twist it to lock it in once you do that you're good to go there's nothing else you need to do with it the filter also comes with protection plates uh, Polar Pro calls these defender plates a rear one and uh, a front one so you don't get confused it's right there for you and all you need to do is slap these on the front where it does not say front and the rear where it does say rear. 
the process is the same you're going to line up the base plate or the protection plate with the reference point the little bar that you see and slap it on and twist that's all you're gonna do it's the same process nothing different about it here's where i gotta get real with you guys i was worried about getting these filters because i do own the edition twos and i love them i like them they're not magnetized they're screw on but they're they're great filters nothing to complain about um pretty fancy i mean when they're on your lens everybody knows you have a peter mckinnon lens on because of the the bronze or the gold look finishing look to them and i think that's pretty dope but one issue that i didn't like about these was the color cast believe it or not um i could always tell when someone was using uh, a polar pro nd filter because they tend to have a colder uh color cast on them um and i wasn't really a fan of that after putting the filters on my lens and seeing it through my camera i was pleasantly surprised the colors out of camera are very 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 close to what the colors look like uh with the nd filter on so i was pretty happy i you can tell that it does have a warmer cast to it but it 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 doesn't bother me enough to where i feel like i got to go back in post and change anything when it comes to my colors i think it's very representative of again what comes straight out of camera so if that's something that bothers you or that's something that you uh, have on your mind rest assured that is not an issue let's get to the problem that i had with this filter yes there was a problem with the filter i'm not i said it in the beginning I, this is not sponsored i am not obligated to say all positive things and no negative things i'm gonna keep it real with you guys when i was trying to adjust the filter on the filter itself uh the steps I was actually, it was unlocking and I wasn't pushing in the buttons to try to unlock it, which was kind of weird and frustrating, but rest assured, you know, I'm not hating on Polar Pro. They actually did good by me and sent me a new filter, a brand new one. They recognized the issue and uh, they just had me submit a video just showing them what was up and they were happy to send me a new one free of charge. So big ups to Polar Pro for that. I was expecting a lot more pushback. Um, I don't know why, I just figured, I, mean, I don't know, I, I, I really don't know. I didn't expect them to just send me a new filter for sure, for sure, but they did. So if uh, you guys experienced this issue, um, send them a video, let them know what's going on, contact customer service and they'll hook you up. I mean, I hope they hook you up. I'm not saying they will. I don't work for them. I'm just, they did right by me. So I'm going to talk them up for that. I'm a, I got to. All right. So now for the good stuff. Price. If you are buying the kit, the kit comes with, I'm looking on my phone, so don't judge me. The kit comes with a V&D 2 to 5, uh, a front and rear defender, 77 82 as i said previously and one base plate defender or maybe that's an additional defender plate uh and that is 329.99 if you're just looking for the filter itself that is going to run you 2.99 for a two to five or six to nine uh, yeah, for a six to nine also. They also have a miss two to five, which is two ninety nine, a miss six to nine, two ninety nine, and a missed one fourth, which is one ninety nine. Heavy mist one ninety nine, blue morphic and gold morphic filters. Pretty interesting, um, but not something I'm interested in. Those both are one ninety nine. The base plates, base plates are. 
$19.99. So that's not bad. I think that's a pretty good deal for all sizes. And the sizes that I'm currently seeing are 67, 77, 82. Those are the sizes that I'm seeing for the base plates. Uh, so there you have it. Really good filter system. I like them. I'm going to stick with them. Probably going to end up using them a lot more than my addition twos. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, love, God bless.